hello welcome to my channel if you watch my channel for the first time please subscribe to my channel and click like okay how can you memorize times table 5 easily and fastly okay to memorize times table 5 easily and fastly we must divide it into even numbers and odd numbers okay when we are going to multiply 5 by any even number we must place 0 at the one's digit in this way 0 0 0 0 0 okay because we multiply 5 by even numbers okay then we multiply the even number by 2 2 divided by 2 equals 1 4 divided by 2 equals 2 6 divided by 2 equals 3 8 divided by 2 equals 4 10 divided by 2 equals 5 12 divided by 2 equals 6 so we have 5 times 2 equals 10 5 times 4 equals 20 5 times 6 equals 30 5 times 8 equals 40 5 times 10 equals 50 5 times 12 equals 60 okay what about the multiplication of 5 by odd numbers okay we must know a very important fact here when we multiply 5 by odd numbers we must place 5 at the ones digit in this way 5 5 5 5 5 okay what then then we subtract 1 from the odd number we subtract 1 from 1 so we have 0 we subtract 1 from 3 we have 2 we divide 2 by 2 okay 2 divided by 2 equals 1 we subtract 1 from 5 okay 5 minus 1 equals 4 we divide 4 by 2 so we have 2 we subtract 1 from 7 so we have 6 we divide 6 by 2 so we have 3 we subtract 1 from 9 so we have 8 we divide 8 by 2 so we have 4 we subtract 1 from 11 so we have 10 we divide 10 by 2 so we have 5 so 5 times 1 equals 5 5 times 3 equals 15 5 times 5 equals 25 5 times 7 equals 35 5 times 9 equals 45 5 times 11 equals 55 this is for times table 5 okay what about times table from 6 to 10 we have a magic method a magic way to multiply the numbers from 6 to 10 exchangeably okay let's learn a very important trick okay we will use top rows numerated from 6 to 10 in this way okay this is the top row we will also use five rings numerated in the same way i mean from six to ten in this way okay our trick is to multiply any number at the top row by any number at the bottom row but we must know that each number we multiply from the top row by any number found at the bottom row okay we must remove the ring of this number and the ring or the ring is before it each ring we remove must be evaluated at 10 okay let's take an example to understand this trick for example 6 times 9 okay the first part in the multiplication process here is 6 okay we select 6 from the top pro okay the second party in the multiplication process is 9 okay so we'll move down to the bottom row where is 9 this is 9 okay so we remove the ring related to 9 and the rings before it in this way each ring we remove must be evaluated at 10 so we have 10 20 30 40 50 okay so we have 50 plus plus what the remaining rings at the top row and the remaining rings at the bottom row must be evaluated at one for each ring 
okay so each ring remaining is evaluated at one we multiply the rings remaining at the top row by the rings remaining at the bottom row so we have four times one equals four we add four to 50 so 50 plus 4 equals 54 so 6 times 9 equals 54 okay let's take another example to learn and understand this trick okay 7 times 8 okay we will select 7 from the top row what is 7? Okay, this is 7. So we remove the ring related to 7 and the ring before it. Okay. What is the second party in the multiplication process? 8. Okay. We select 8 from the bottom row. Where is 8? Yes, here. So we remove the ring related to 8 and the rings before it. Each ring we remove must be evaluated at 10. So we have 10. 20 30 40 50 okay we have here 50 plus plus what plus the ring is remaining at the top row multiplied by the ring is remaining at the bottom row but we must know that each remaining ring must be evaluated at one okay so we multiply the ring is at the top row by the ring is at the bottom row so we have three times two three times two equals six okay we do addition 50 plus six equals 56 so 7 times 8 equals 56 okay let's take another example to understand and learn this track okay 9 times 7 okay we select 9 from the top row where is 9 this is 9 so we remove the ring related to 9 and the rings before it okay okay what is the second party in the multiplication process of course it's seven where is seven we select seven from the bottom row this is seven we remove seven and the ring is before it okay each ring we remove must be evaluated at 10 so we have 10 20 30 40 50 60 okay we have 60 plus plus what plus the, the ring is remaining at the top row multiplied by the rings remaining at the bottom row but we must know that each remaining ring must be evaluated at one okay we multiply the rings at the top row or remaining at the top row by the rings remaining at the bottom row so we multiply one by three one by three equals okay equals three we do addition 60 plus 3 equals 63 so 9 times 7 equals 63 okay let's take another example to understand this way okay 8 times 9 we select 8 from the top row where is 8 this is 8 we remove it and the rings before it okay what is the second part in the multiplication process 9 okay we select 9 from the bottom row where is 9 yeah, this is 9. We remove 9 and the rings before it. Each ring we remove must be evaluated at 10. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Okay? 70 plus. 70 plus what? 70 plus the rings remaining at the top row multiplied by the rings remaining at the bottom row. So we have 2 times 1 equals 2. We do addition. 70 plus 2 equals 72 so 8 times 9 equals 72 okay let's take this final example for this new method for memorizing times table from 6 to 10 okay 7 times 10 we select 7 from the top row what is 7 okay this 7 we remove the ring remaining related to 7 and the ring before it. So we remove two rings from the top row. Okay. What is the second part in the multiplication process? Of course, it's 10. Where is 10? Okay, this is 10. So we remove the ring related to 10 and the rings before it. Okay. Each ring we remove 
must be evaluated at 10. Okay? So we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Okay? We have 70. We see 70 plus. 70 plus what? Plus the rings remaining at the top row. Multiplied by the rings remaining at the bottom row. We have 3 multiplied by what? We have no rings at the bottom row. So we have 0. We multiply. Okay? We multiply 3 here. Okay? By 0. Which equals 0. So we see 70 plus 0 equals 70. So 7 times 10 equals 70. Thank you so much for watching. See you. Goodbye.